Evelyn to Philip, February 11th, 1943, 4.45 p.m. Precious Phil, your Tuesday letter arrived this afternoon, along with one from Jack N. His letter was brief, and he said, Phil will give you the details. Does he mean what he has been doing since he left Philly? The weather has taken a turn for the worse. It rained yesterday and today. A short while ago, however, the rain turned into snow flurries, and it looks like it's going to continue through the night. I douched last night and this morning, according to Dr. R's instructions, and find that I enjoy it immensely. It leaves me feeling refreshed and cleaner than I've felt in many a moon. I'm sorry I didn't start sooner. The Page 2. Douche itself is very modern and folds back into the rubber bulb. It's small and neat looking, and I got a nice waterproof bag to keep it in. I'm feeling pretty good, getting as much rest as possible. Tante Shush is still at the hospital, and they still can't determine what is wrong with her. They think maybe it's cancer. They have to make another set of x-rays. As soon as I know something definite, I'll let you know. She feels and looks okay, so they tell me. I can't bathe Adele. Vaccination won't permit, so I'm oiling her till I can. Honey, she's so darn sweet, I can't help biting her, and it sometimes makes her cry. She studies everyone. Page 3, she looks upon. I think she'll soon be able to distinguish one from another. It gives me the funniest feeling when I awake and hear her talking to herself. She talks and amuses herself at least an hour after each feeding when I put her back into her crib. I give her exercises before her bottle, hands over head to the side and down, legs bent up and down, and she loves it. She's getting very active. When I put her on my shoulder to burp her, she feels so heavy sometimes I feel I'll collapse. I had to put away Mrs. Nirenberg's bunting, the one that says sweet, because it's too small. Before long, I'll have to buy her a new wardrobe. I mean wheel. I hope wheel. Page 4. Today is exactly a year since our living room furniture arrived. Harry and Goldie are going to Poughkeepsie, New York this weekend to visit her folks. I received a 10 cent can of ZBJ baby powder from that company, Trial Can. I'm wondering how they got my name. I didn't receive any 1040s. You'll have to get two. You must retain a copy as a record, hence two. Send the copy to me when you file the original, will you? Hope you won't have a big income tax. Well, precious. I've reached the end of another communique, and as always, all our love to the dearest, sweetest hubby and daddy in the world, Evie. Philip to Evelyn, Thursday, February 11th, 5 p.m. Dearest Chippy, I am writing this from the base hospital, where I have been a patient since this morning. This morning, I reported at sick call because lately the gas pains just under the lower ribs has become more consistent. That is, I get it more frequently. When the lieutenant examined me, I was sore over the entire lower abdom abdominal region. He says I have a colitis too, which as I understand it is the failure of the bowels to perform the elimin eliminative function properly. Altogether, I'm in need of a general overhaul, and the lieutenant admitted me to hospital for observation. I have no idea how long I'm to be here, but don't worry, baby, since there is nothing wrong that can't be fixed up. Tomorrow I will be examined further and can tell you better what's what. In the meantime, I'm taking it easy. They gave... Page 2, me an admission to the ward a pair of gray cotton pajamas, a Dubonnet corduroy robe with MD USA monogrammed in white over the left breast, and a pair of slippers. This will be my attire as long as I'm here. Imagine me sleeping in pajamas. 
after all these years. The robe is very attractive. I wish I had one like it. I didn't get a chance to pick up today's letter, sweet, and I miss it. But little Davy Poole promised to bring it up with my toilet articles tomorrow. Another thing that is bothering me is that I won't have the opportunity to buy a valentine for my sweetheart. I had planned to go in town tonight to shop for one, but please forgive me, darling. I should have thought I should have bought it earlier anyhow. However, I don't need a card to tell you that you are my valentine. You should be well convinced that, that fact, of that fact by now. Haven't I been attesting that in word and action every moment of every day, almost from the day I met you? I think that Valentines were invented for people who feel the need of an emotional lift, a sort of reminder that he still loves her and she him. So you can see that in our case, Valentines, though nice, are entirely ambiguous. Remind you that I still... Love you? Hell, I never let you forget it. Kiss our little lady for me, her daddy Phil. P.S. Love to all. I would write more, but I hated to borrow even one sheet. Note. Address mail as usual, honey. Plenty of room left to say, I love you.